What's going on guys, it's that time. We're going to go get the trailer. We got to drive all the way to Virginia to get it. We're excited. I'm excited to show you what type of trailer we got. I'm going to explain why we got the trailer, how it's going to be used. And I think after it's all said and done, it's going to make sense to you. It's just going to be a good time. I'm riding with my dad today. This is what it's about, guys. These experiences right here. Check it out. Guys, out here in South Hill, Virginia. Just crossed over the Virginia line. About to get some of this good gas, this petroleum. All right, guys, I'm out here at Superior Trailer in Virginia. We made the trip, we arrived, here it is. 24 foot, really 25 when you add it up. Tilt deck trailer. This is gonna allow me to load cars and freight. It's got the winch. Pretty excited about it. So why did I get this as opposed to a gooseneck or a different deck over or something like that well it's because I have to ask myself how am I going to use it I'm being very realistic with it and what am I towing it with and we'll talk a little bit more about that but for now this is where it is so as you can see these are the numbers on it 7,000 pound axles 14,000 GBWR So this is a PJ 24 foot T6 tilt deck trailer. And as you can see, it's got everything I'm gonna need for what it is I'm gonna do specifically for my setup and for my needs. Got the winch here, 9,500 pound winch. Plenty of deck space, large enough for the loads that I would wanna take in the cars. These are removable, so that helps the fenders. So there's a lot that we can do with this. Looking forward to it, really excited. I think this is gonna be really good. Eight foot deck right here with the winch. Spot for the car, tilt deck. So it gives me some good versatility. I'm really excited about this. Feel good about it, feel happy. I'm gonna talk about why I chose this trailer with this truck, what my intentions are for it. Get that 6.4 Hemi there. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. It was just a matter of making sure the plug was in all the way. One thing Ram has that I really like they have a feature where you can check it, check your lights by yourself. We end up getting a new hitch right here. Little six inch hitch drop. So that's all good, new chains. It's always cool and fun getting new things, guys. And when you know you can work and get stuff done with it. I had them put the winch in, as you can see, 9,500 pound winch, so happy about that. Oh, you know what? I need to go in and buy a winch cover. Yeah, I gotta go and buy a winch cover right now, so and then we can take off. I also like the fact that it just lets gravity do its thing and then it just slowly goes down. And I like it has D-rings, has four D-rings up top here. D-ring at the bottom and then I also bought some other D-rings to put in the pockets here So that'll work out well Yes, sir guys out here on my first load going up in here Got the truck out here numbers and everything rolling trailers locked and loaded Excited I'm at a TA truck stop. This is actually the same one just this morning. I was able to get I was able to get my inspection done a DOT inspector for my truck and trailer, so happy to have that done. Working on a few things. Uh, I've got a load I'm picking up tonight. I'm going to sit on it, then I'm going to take it to North Carolina. Well, I'm in North Carolina. I'm going to take it to uh, Salisbury, North Carolina, drop it off, go pick up another car, uh, and drop from Concord, drop it back off, all in the same day. So, hey, 
I'm excited. First time doing this. We're getting it going. Watch what's happening, guys. All right, guys. So I'm at IAA right here. First pickup, learning the ropes, learning what to do. Put the sunglasses on so I can see. Good stuff happening, guys. Good stuff happening. All right, guys, so this is where I'm at. First pickup, IAA. I told you guys I was gonna give you the authentic. You are getting it. You're getting the 100% authentic. This is my very first pick, hopefully one of many. I'm looking forward to seeing what's gonna happen, what comes of it. Uh, and we'll go from there, guys, but this is what we're doing. All right, guys. Documenting the first drop, first load. Buick Verano. Pretty jacked up, actually. As you can see, this is what we're looking at. So the first thing I'm looking at is a couple things there's a process you got to go through obviously right you got to do all the check-in take the pictures and everything but I'm also looking at how am I gonna strap this thing in and it's pretty damaged really cool first load is bring it in drop it on your trailer and move out can't beat it guys pretty cool all right guys so I just finished doing the check-in or check out I guess just to say everything's looking good guys something's telling me just to get out one more time check the straps make sure everything is good so that's what we're gonna do here it's nice and tight I thought about putting the winch on it but I don't think I need the winch on it I think these will be just fine. And then I'm not going really far either, so. Here we go. Let's get to the crib. Uh, let me close this sunroof here. All right, guys, so I'm back at home. I decided just to pick this up because it's going to the same location tomorrow. Instead of making that trip down there and coming back, I figured I'd just park out here in front. So this is a perfect example of uh, my dog right there that's not what i'm talking about but this is a perfect example of why i got this trailer right here and zoom out a little bit so you see i have one part on the car but i've got all this space right here for a pallet machinery tires equipment whatever needs to be the case it can be loaded with a flatbed eight cylinder gas engine that six four hemi so the decision making process into what trailer to get really was taken from a holistic standpoint meaning I'm looking at all different angles so I'm looking at how am I going to use this recreationally how am I going to use this with hot shotting um, it's important to remember that I have a, a whole nother company a self-sustaining company this is my bread and butter company we have 60 employees it's grown by the grace of God it's been it's doing well very well so this right here me taking on this project is like I said in a previous video not all about the money now I will not make a I'll take a loss on this my goal like any other business person is to make a profit and make the biggest profit possible but it's not just about the money for me again it's about the experiences i'm spending time with my dad i'm spending time with my son my wife my mom doing different things we're able to take more trips that are actually paid for by the business so it's a win-win all the way around now let's talk about the mechanics of it i don't need a 40-foot trailer because i'm not going to be on the over the road the over the road game when you're talking about hot shot is a single man's game I have a family and I'm just not willing to be away from them and miss those experiences chasing after money on the road. Now, with that being said, there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's just not the place that I'm in right now. So for me, when I looked at the trailer, I wanted to make sure I had something that would allow me options. It would allow me flexibility. This trailer does that. It allows me the, the ability to carry cars. It allows me the ability to carry freight. So let's talk about why I wanted the tilt trailer. Well, again, to me, it's about cutting down liability costs. So I'm not as comfortable taking a car up on a ramp. Yes, I can practice and get better at it, but I'd much rather have the ease of use of a tilt trailer. And it's something I can start off right now doing it on my own. That's a big plus for me. Now the GVWR on this trailer is 14,000 pounds. Let's keep it real here, guys. I have a gas truck, 6.4 liter Hemi, strong, powerful engine, reliable, 
it's an engine that people have known for a while so in terms of getting it fixed repaired it's significantly cheaper than diesel which is a plus but i don't have the pulling power i do have a better payload but i don't have the pulling power so for me with this truck it's about longevity i enjoy it i use it for more than just hot shotting i want to make sure this truck is around for a while i have a 100,000 mile warranty on it so that's a plus as well but for this i don't want to really tow any more than 12,000. really 10,000 and below is the sweet spot for me I will do 12,000 from time to time, but it's not gonna be something I will consistently go after. So the 14,000 pound GVWR was perfect for my setup. And having the ability, the true ability to be able to do both of those allows me the opportunity to maximize whatever rates, whatever load, whether it's car or freight, to make sure that my time is being maximized and I'm still coming out on top, even by doing this part-time pool. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, why did you not get a gooseneck? Why did you get a bumper pool? Well, first of all, my main experience towing i've towed over the years but my main experience is it a travel trailer bumper pool so that doesn't scare me i know how to load i know how to control that i would rather do that than have to go through the problems and the trouble of hitching and unhitching a gooseneck trailer going through that process learning how to maneuver a completely different setup just don't want to deal with that and i also like the fact that i have my entire bed open for me to put other materials and other things in so when I think about it from that standpoint, it's much more versatile for me. It gives me better options that fits my lifestyle. No knock against a gooseneck, it's just not for me. And I'm gonna prove to you that it can be successful as I'm already starting to see by the time you watch this video that the bumper pool is just as good if you know what you're doing and if you have the right plan in place. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button. Hey, God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next round.